Hi, it's Keith from Cloud Design Box. Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at a new bit of functionality that's become available to us in assignments within Microsoft Teams, and that's being able to use artificial intelligence to help us create rubrics. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and if you like what you see today, please hit the like button. So let's get over into Teams. Here we are in Teams, and today we're working in a history year 11 class. I've already gone into assignments and I've started to create the assignment. I've put the title in. I've used AI to help me generate some instructions for my students to follow. And I've also added then a worksheet at the bottom here and also some reading material as well. Over on the right, the turn in dates and times have all been set. I've added a tag. And all I need to do now is put in my grading criteria. And for that, I'm going to add a rubric. When I click add a rubric, I do get some options. So I can still reuse previous rubrics. I can upload any existing rubrics. So as a teacher within a department, you may have some predefined rubrics that you can reuse. These are normally stored as CSV files. I can create my own rubric from scratch. It gives me the framework and I can add my own criteria and uh, descriptions. I can just do that manually or create the rubric using AI. Click the tile and it will then ask me to give it a title. Once the title has been added, I can then choose the language. By default for me, it comes in English. However, I can change it to any of these languages and we do get a really good range. I'm just going to stick with English. The next box down asks me what I wish this rubric to evaluate. This essentially is the instructions that will drive artificial intelligence to create our rubric. So I've placed in my evaluation criteria just a couple of lines, something really basic, and then I'll click next. At this point, it will ask me for my grade level. I'm working in a history year 11, which is 10th grade. My rubric scale by default is set to excellent, good, fair or poor. I do have a drop down so I can change it to exceeds, meets or below. Yes, no. Or I can actually customize the rubric scale myself so I can put my own headings in here. And at this point, I can also add an additional level. However, I'm just going to keep it as is out of the box for the time being. I then need to add my criteria and I do get some suggestions through a reading. I'm going to put some detailed responses in here and clarity and organization. And I'm just going to place in my own criteria, just some evidence of detailed research. And at this point, I can also delete a criteria heading if I think it's not relevant. Now that I've completed all the boxes, I can then get AI to create my rubric. As you can see, I've got the excellent, good, fair and poor levels all created for me. And here's my criteria here, thorough reading, detailed response and evidence of detailed research. AI has now filled out the relevant boxes and that has saved me a great deal of time. I also get the option of being able to modify uh, the rubric somewhat. So again, I can click the modify button and as you can see, it's set to expanded. However, I could just turn this to concise. I still get the option of being able to change the grade level. So for example, if I've accidentally set this to a grade 10, when in fact it's for grade eight students, not a problem, I can alter that. I'm gonna keep the language in English and I can also change the evaluation text. I'm gonna select update. I do get the option of being able to completely rehash the rubric and also I still get the option of being able to add a new level, which again, I can get AI to fill the criteria for me. I can also put some extra criteria in there as well, and that would automatically fill the line for me again using AI. Across the top of the page, by default, the points are switched off. Just gonna turn that on. That will now give me an even 25% across the board. However, I can change this if I wish. And I still get the option of being able to evenly redistribute the weighting. I do have the option of being able to 
edit the rubric so I still have the option of being able to change things to suit. However, I'm just going to leave everything as it is and I'm just now going to attach that to my assignment. Now that my rubric is attached to my assignment, I can then go on to assign the assignment to my students. The rubric will perform in exactly the same way as they always have done. So the student will be able to view the rubric and once the work has been submitted by the student, you will grade the rubrics exactly the same as we always have done. You can still download an AI generated rubric and you can also reuse a rubric as well and you still get the option of being able to edit a reused rubric. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit the like button. Please do subscribe to our channel. And if you click on the notification bell, you'll be alerted every time Cloud Design Box uploads a new video. Thanks for watching.